Hi, my name is Josh, and I watch the FCC approval database so you don't have to. Today, we're going to talk about the Angel Care AC1300 baby monitor unit thing. First, we're going to look at the nursery unit side of things. This is a little device that's got a camera, a photo sensor, a microphone, and then these little pad things, sensors that you put into the pads. Although we don't have any info on those, so we're not going to talk about them too much. So this device is uh, it's pretty neat. It's something that I might have liked having whenever my kid was little. But we got by with just the little 49 megahertz cheapo thingies. Anyway, so let's have a look at how this thing hangs together. So here's the internal photographs. Nothing all that interesting. Here's the first step. You see it's got battery pack option, bunch of cables coming over here to connect back to another board. Looks like the camera pivot uh, handle, I guess, is right here. Some stuff on the back of the PCB. If we go down, here's that back, here's that that gray cable connects to on the inside. This board is not that interesting. We've got a USB connector, which is for the power adapter. We've got this little pad sensor connector. Looks kind of like a headphone jack, but it's hard to call. And then down here, we got this cute, like there's this big slot, right? We got this cute little board that says temperature sensor. And we've got that slot is to thermally isolate it from, I assume, the power connector here. And then we have these little traces zigzagging along. I'm not quite sure why they did the serpentine pattern there. We also get this TX, RX, and ground, which is probably actually serial. It's probably TTL level RS-232. So that could be fun to play with. We also see that this board was manufactured in the 31st week of 2015. So it's pretty new. So here's another photo of the other side. There's maybe a button right there. Maybe that's at, oh no, that's the PCB for the temperature sensor. Anyway, mostly uninteresting. So now, we've got one more PCB, which is the lights that go around the camera sensor. They're just IR LEDs. As you can see, the camera sensor is on this flex strip here, on a little flex PCB. And it's square, so it just slots right into there, up in the head of the little angel-shaped body of this thing. We also have an LED here, maybe a sensor. We have an indicator light. Oh, actually, that's the night light is what that is, I think. It makes the little wings glow up. Um, indicator light for whether or not it's on, and then the photo sensor. Uh, we also have this can, <laughs> which is, we'll come back to that. So here's the back of the board. Got a piezo buzzer. We have what looks to be coax running up to a weird little antenna assembly. And then we have the battery connectors here. So they don't come in on that gray cable, the battery comes in on separate connectors. Looking inside, that big chip on there is a Sonix processor. Sonix is a pretty big name in wireless video stuff. Over here we've got a wind bond. If we look closely, you can see it's a 25X40CL, yada yada. That is a serial EEPROM. So this is our main processor that also handles our 2.4 gigahertz data encoding. Excuse me. Uh, it's the SN93331 BF. So a little bit of Googling and this is part of a whole big series. And this specific unit is the 331. 3331. Anyway, a bunch of threes and then one, which is the video transmitter side. Connects a microphone, CMOS sensor, and a speaker, along with some serial flash, into here, does all the processing, and then it'll send its data over to an RF module that then goes out to the antenna. On the other side, which we'll talk about next in the next episode, the parental monitor unit, the 93330 
has an RF module that goes into the Sonics processor along with some serial flash and into a panel. And you can see what Sonics actually meant this, this whole product set to do, which is baby monitors. They've even got a little sleepy baby on there. It also goes out to a speaker and there's a microphone. So you can actually use this device to talk to your baby in their room without being there. It also has this USB interface for recording uh, with UVC driverless video. The Winbond spy flash here is just a boring old serial flash memory. So we're not even going to talk about that. It's just a standard chip in just about everything nowadays. You'll find one of these. So over here is probably related to that speaker system. There aren't very good photos of this section of the board, but it's it just kind of smells like audio to me. It's got this one IC, and I can't for the life of me make out the actual part number on it, unfortunately. It's also got a couple of transistors and a bunch of these little MELF diodes. And here's that can. Now, I don't think that EMC engineers are particularly superstitious. Actually, they are superstitious people. But I think they might put on their lucky socks instead of bringing their lucky can. Because it looks like this can has seen an awful lot in its little life. It is rusty. So I'm guessing this is an actual production unit that has been in a cargo ship from China, which got water inside of it or something, because this is, this is just awful looking. It looks terrible. We'll see the same thing on the parent unit and also on that little metal tube in the antenna system. Anyway, once we pop the can off, we find this A7121 chip, which is an AMIC semiconductors 2.4 gigahertz transceiver, which is used for wireless digital audio, mouse and keyboard, you know, just generic. What it does is takes in spy commands along with some packet data and transmits it out. That's about it. It's a nice little thing. And over here we have the antenna out on pins five and six. So if we go over here, we got pin one, four, five, and six. Right there and there. So it comes out over here and off into this big mess here. Most of this is just noise, but this right here is important. This it turns out, is an RFIC AP1110 power amp. So this is the amplifier stage that then feeds out capacitive couples into here. This is the point that feeds through to that antenna on the other side. So this is just a bog standard, pretty much the reference implementation here, along with a really standard implementation of this little amplifier. Got all the power gain, yada yada. I forget if this has got. There we go, yeah. So, pretty close to the schematic we expect for that as well. So, they just stuck all these things together along with some transistors. Uh, and I'm not sure what this is. This is probably voltage regulators. So, this thing goes out through. Maybe this goes through a filter and then this is the actual feed point, isn't it? I forget how this all hangs together there. Anyway, so that is this whole unit, really. It comes down to basically three ICs and then that camera module. And that camera module is just a bog standard off the shelf thing that has been soldered down really messily, I might add, into here and everything else feeds down into this little Sonics module. So that's pretty much it for this one. You stay tuned, we'll do the parental unit next. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section down below. If you see any questions down there that you think that you can answer, please do so. It's great if we can all help each other on this. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one here in probably a couple of days.